How many four digit codes will be formed using these digits? With the following conditions, the code must be an even number. The first digit must be less than four and the digits may be repeated. Four digit codes, so we have four spaces that we need to fill. The code must be an even number. So on the last position, we need an even number. If the number on the last position is even, then the code itself is even. So how many even numbers do we have here? We have 0, 2, and 4. So only 0, 2, and 4 can occupy that last spot. The first digit must be less than 4. If it is less than 4, then only 0, 1, 2, 3 can occupy that first spot. We need to put that in mind. So in the first position, one of the four digits can occupy that spot. And then on the last position, one of the three digits can occupy that spot. What about the second and the third spots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to have seven here and we're also going to have seven here if repetition is allowed. The answer here is 588. So this is the number of digits that we can generate using those digits and having those conditions. The answer to 10.2. Let's look at 10.3. The letters of the word leopard are randomly arranged into different seven letters words. Letters may not be repeated. And then the first question, 10.3.1. In how many different ways can the letters of this word be arranged? So let's go ahead and look at our word. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 letters. In how many ways can we arrange 7 letters? All the letters are distinct. There is no repetition on the letters. So the answer here is 7 factorials because there is no repetition. If there was a repetition, then we would have to account for that. And then the following question, 10.3.2. Determine the number of different ways in which a word formed will start with a vowel and end with a consonant. Right, let's see how that will look like. We need seven spaces as we have seven letters. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to start with a vowel. How many vowels do we have on the word leopard? We have E, O, and A. So we have E, O, and A. And then the other condition is that it ends with a consonant. And then our consonant here is L. P R D. The first position is going to be occupied by one of the three vowels. So we're going to put three here. And then the last position is going to be occupied by one of the four consonants. So we're going to put four here. We started with seven letters. Now we have used two. One to occupy the first spot and another one to occupy the last spot. We are left with five. So we're going to have multiplied by five. Now we are left with 4, 3, 2, and then 1. This is all equals to 1,440. Uh, the last question, which is a bit tricky, 10.3.3. Calculate the probability that in the different words formed in 10.3.1, all vowels will not follow each other. It's very difficult to count will not compared to your counting will. The probability of an event not occurring is equal to 1 minus the probability of that event occurring. So what we can do instead, we can calculate the probability of the vowels following each other. And then the probability of the vowels not following each other will be 1 minus the probability of the vowels following each other. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spaces that we need to fill. Let's say that our vowels follow each other. So we have A, E, and O. And then 
the consonants L, P, R, D. So if the vowels are following each other, then we can sort of bind them together, so to say. Wherever they are, they need to be close to each other. Even though the vowels are next to each other, there's still three factorial ways of arranging them. We can start with E, we can start with O, so on and so on. So we're going to have three factorial. This is for the arrangement of the vowels among themselves. They're still close to each other. So now we have vowels that are moving as one. And we have four consonants. The vowels can be in between two consonants. There is no problem as long as the vowels are close to each other. So there is five factorial ways consonants and the three vowels that needs to be next to each other can be arranged. This is equals to 720. So the probability of the vowels not being close to each other will be 1 minus the probability of the vowels following each other. This will be 720 divided by our sample space, which is 7 factorial.